hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to density measurement so in this video we are going to discuss another method of uh, measurement of density of fluids which is the hydrometer system so density which is of uh, which can be classified in two ways mass density which is the mass per unit volume of a substance weight density is the weight force or the weight per unit volume so when it is multiplied with acceleration due to gravity mass density multiplied with acceleration due to gravity so this is the basic definition and density measurement which is very important for industrial purposes and uh, the suitable techniques are uh, available which makes the measurement of density or especially for fluids liquids and gases very easy and it is very difficult for solids as i've already mentioned in the previous video so important thing here is that whatever we are measuring the density it is always in a flowing state moving state from one point to another so we have to capture a particular section we have to accumulate the fluid there and then carry out our measurements so before we discuss the hydrometer system we have to discuss the principle on which it operates so it operates on archimedes principle and the principle of uh, the buoyant force so archimedes principle is uh, which is also called as the law of uh, buoyancy it it was discovered by ancient greek mathematician and inventor archimedes so basically what it says that when any any object it is uh, submerged it is immersed in a fluid completely or partially it is acted by an upward force which is called as buoyant force okay so this buoyant force magnitude is equal to the amount of fluid the weight of the fluid which the object displaces okay the amount of fluid which the object displaces that much weight upward the buoyant force acts upon it so the hydrometer system here it consists of again a tank or a container kind of a setup where the fluid which is in movement in flowing state it is accumulated then the important part of this hydrometer system is the float okay float along with a stem okay which is immersed in the fluid so some portion of the float the stem it acts outwards and this much portion of the float is completely submerged in the fluid so when the float is submerged buoyant force acts upwards on the float this buoyant force is um is a is is a function of density it is dependent on density of the fluid and this buoyant force is given by this the upward force is mass into acceleration due to gravity mass of the fluid which is displaced by this float so here mass is density multiplied with volume where rho f is the density of the displaced fluid vf is the volume of the displaced fluid g is acceleration due to gravity as the dimensions of the float the size of the float is fixed so the amount of fluid that it displaces it will always be fixed the volume of the fluid which it displaces will always be fixed no matter what type of fluid it is fluid 1 2 3 4 fluid x y z whatever fluid it is in this here the volume of the fluid displaced by this float of fixed dimension the same float 
it will always be fixed and acceleration due to gravity g is also fixed so this buoyant force is directly dependent on the density of the fluid which is in the container in the tank so the upward force which acts on the float it causes it to move upwards and this causes a linear displacement y now this linear displacement it can be measured with the help of suitable secondary transducers such as uh, potentiometer linear potentiometer where this end is connected to the wiper of the potentiometer and uh, as a result of that uh, we can get a signal or we can uh, uh, connect it to a capacitive transducer movable plate of the capacitive transducer or it can be connected to LVDT or simply no no matter no no need to do all of that we can simply connect a scale here okay a simple scale here with a pointer scale pointer arrangement and that pointer moves over a graduated scale and that scale is calibrated directly in terms of density because vf is fixed g is fixed so this buoyant force is directly dependent on the density of the fluid because no matter whichever fluid is there in this container which is measured volume of the fluid that is displaced will be fixed because of the fixed size dimensions of the float also the acceleration due to gravity is fixed so the buoyant force which acts because of the displaced fluid it is directly dependent on the density of the fluid and that causes linear displacement of the stem attached to the float that can be connected to either secondary transducers capacitive inductive LVDT potentiometer resistive whatever or it can be connected to a simple pointer scale arrangement and it can be calibra calibrated to get a direct readout in terms of density because buoyant force is a direct is in direct relationship with density of the fluid vf and g are fixed so this is the basic uh, operating principle of the hydrometer system for the measurement of density which employs float stem arrangement and it operates on the principle of uh, buoyant force and archimedes principle okay so this is the basic thing related to it so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much